We're talking this morning with Patrick Brown, who's been practicing law for over 20 years. He's also the past president of the Ontario Trial Lawyers Association and has dedicated his career to representing the serious and catastrophically injured. He's a member of the Personal Injury Alliance, made up of three of the top-ranked personal injury law firms in Canada, and their goal is to ensure that innocent accident victims and their families are given the tools needed to hire the best legal representation available. So the topic today is children, concussion, and the importance of helmet use in winter sports. So Patrick, just how significant is the risk of serious injury from skiing or snowboarding? Kent, um, as you know, skiing and, and snowboarding are great winter pastimes, for, but uh, Kent, with any sport, you really do have to ensure that you reduce the risk of injury, and injury does happen with snowboarding and skiing. And uh, just how can the uh, number of head injuries be reduced? Well, first and, and foremostly, uh, wearing a helmet. It, it seems to be common sense, but uh, uh, there's a lot of studies out there that say helmets do significantly reduce the risk of head injury with skiers and snowboarders, and very much so with younger people, especially those under age 13. In fact, some studies show that uh, helmet use will reduce the risk of a head injury by over 35%. So put a helmet on your head. Proper supervision is needed of your kids. Make sure they don't step beyond their abilities and make sure everybody knows what the rules are out there and follow the code of conduct for skiers and snowboarders. All right, and uh, how important is the use of uh, helmets in these sports? How big a difference do they really make? Well, out of the United States, the, the Consumer Product Safety Commission did a study on this and they estimated that a more than 50% of skiing and snowboarding related head injuries among children younger than 15 years of age could be reduced by using a helmet. And as well, at least uh, down in the United States when they did the study, 11 deaths could have been prevented. So if you got a properly fitted helmet, it's going to make a big, big difference out there. Now, if a child suffers a concussion, uh, what should be done? Well, the first, first and foremost thing, you have to get proper medical attention. Get medical attention. Folks can go to the, uh, to the Internet for uh, more information on the problem with uh, concussions. Yeah, Ken, you know, what we did uh, with the Personal Injury Alliance, which is um, three law firms that practice personal injury in Ontario um, and ha- have a proven track record, what we did was on our PIALaw.ca uh, website, we've got a concussion card where sports trainers, parents, coaches, they can print that off and put it in their pocket, and that will give them uh, a listing of the symptoms to look for when somebody might have a concussion uh, and what to do. So take a look at that. That's PIALaw.ca slash concussion card. All right. So again, the uh, site is uh, PIALaw.ca. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thanks, Kent. Have a great day.